Hi everyone, I'm Edward Barnes, and in this video we're looking at the song I Got Rhythm by George and Ira Gershwin. I Got Rhythm was written for a 1930 Broadway show called Girl Crazy. The song is important for its refrain, a mashup of elements from four musical styles which had arrived on the scene in New York City during the first part of the 20th century. What we're going to do is find out what those elements are, where they came from, and then how they got into the song. This is I Got Rhythm, Exploration of a Song. George and Ira Gershwin were born in New York City, the sons of Russian Jewish immigrants Moisha and Rotza Gershevitz. Though the family moved around a lot, the boys mostly grew up on the Lower East Side of Manhattan in a Second Avenue apartment which just happened to be right in the middle of the Yiddish theater district. <laughs> Yiddish theater had come to New York through a wave of turn-of-the-century immigration from Eastern Europe and flowered anew on 2nd Avenue. The Gershwin family attended every show they could, and young George and Ira became enthusiastic fans. Yiddish theater makes a distinctive use of what we call umcha music. It's an umpapa, umpapa, umpapa but in two instead of three. And it's this little figure, the Yiddish umcha, that's the first element of I Got Rhythm I want you to remember. When George was 16, he quit school to become a song plugger on Tin Pan Alley. On weekends, George earned extra money by recording piano rolls for the Aeolian Company. Ragtime was the most popular music for player pianos, and it wasn't long before George was not only a skilled ragtime pianist, but composing piano rags of his very own. Ragtime evolved out of African-American communities in the Midwest. It features elaborate, syncopated melodies played over a steady bass of classical harmonies. Ragtime arrived in New York in the late 1890s, mostly through piano rolls. And ragtime is the second element of I Got Rhythm I want you to remember. When George was 21, he had his first big hit, a song called Swanee. Swanee earned George a lot of attention and a lot of money. But George never pursued this style of writing again, and Swanee is not an element of I Got Rhythm. What the song did do, though, was provide George with enough income to move his family to a spacious new apartment on Manhattan's Upper West Side and to begin working as a full-time composer. It also gave George time to explore his newest passion, the blues. The blues originated in the Deep South, but came to New York by way of Memphis, Tennessee. W.C. Handy was the first person to write down and publish the blues, and in 1917, when he moved his publishing company from Beale Street to Times Square, he brought the blues with him. It takes George several years to really integrate the blues into his style of writing, but eventually he nails it. The blues features blue notes and blue chords, especially flatted seventh chords. And the blues is the third element of I Got Rhythm I want you to remember. In 1924, 26-year-old George Gershwin bought his family a five-story townhouse. From his top floor studio, he pointed his talents in a new direction, writing songs for Broadway musicals. For a collaborator, he chose his very own brother. 
Ira Gershwin was the studious brother. He loved to read, did well in school, went to college. Ira had seen all the same Yiddish theater shows as George, but Ira also went uptown to see the Gilbert and Sullivan operettas. And with that, he'd fallen in love with rhyming words. As a team, the Gershwin brothers were immediately successful. Their first show, Lady Be Good, was a smash, and they just kept going from there. By 1929, they were rich and they were famous. Their parents retired to Florida, and the two boys moved to adjoining penthouse apartments at 33 Riverside Drive, overlooking the Hudson at 78th Street. And it's from those apartments, high on the 17th floor, that George and Ira begin work on their ninth musical together, Girl Crazy. Girl Crazy is about a New York playboy whose wealthy family sends him to Arizona to manage their ranch. But instead of tending cattle, the playboy turns the place into a dude ranch, complete with a nightclub and showgirls. Complications ensue, but when the playboy falls in love with the local mail delivery lady, everything turns out just swell. George and Ira work separately, each in their own apartment, and the music always came first. So let's check in with George and see what he's up to. George is at his piano going through the material he and Ira have created for the show so far. They've got everything written for Act 1 except for one last song, a razzle-dazzle rhythmic number for the lead showgirl and her dancing ladies. George is thinking, I need to do something fun, something hot, something that moves, that dances, that has a really catchy rhythm, something like the Charleston. Now, George Gershwin was a very sophisticated musician, and he knew exactly what that catchy rhythm was in the Charleston. It's called a tresijo, and it comes from Cuba. A tresijo is an African three against two rhythm that got squared off when it was incorporated into Spanish colonial dancing in Havana. It's the basis of the habanera, the rumba, and the cha-cha. The Tresija came to New York via New Orleans, but it was Harlem composer James P. Johnson who turned the Tresija into a craze when he used it in the melody of his infamous Charleston. And the Tresija is the fourth element of I Got Rhythm I Want You to Remember. So George is fooling around with the black keys on the piano. And at first, he just tries them as a straight tresijo. Then he tries it again, Charleston style. It's a good start, but it needs to move a little bit more. So instead of repeating notes, he just goes up and down through the notes. Now that's getting better, but it's still a little bit too much like the Charleston. So George is thinking, what can I do that would make it different, that would make it unique, still keep it snappy, but... And then a light bulb goes off. In the Charleston, the third note of the Tresijo is felt instead of played, like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So George is thinking, what if I just move a couple of the felt notes to a different place, like from third place to the beginning? Then you'd have one, two, three, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, 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 but he can't just keep going up and down and up and down. He's got to make a phrase out of it, put an ending to it somehow. So he just starts to 
improvise. Ya da da bum. Yidle deedle diddle deedle diddle dum. Yidle deedle diddle deedle diddle dum. Um cha um cha um cha um. A Yiddish um cha. Why not? Start with a Cuban tricio up, down, up again, and then a Yiddish umcha ending. Here's George to play it for you. That was George's A phrase. For his B, he reaches back to his ragtime days and drops in a harmonic sequence that was so common at the time, it was called the Sears Roebuck Progression. Four chords, each five notes down from the one before. But to kick it up a notch, George then adds a flatted seventh to each chord, making all of them blues chords, a combo ragtime blues progression which he now lays in underneath his tresijo. Here's George with this part. George now takes his two phrases and lines them up in the pop song formula of the day. Eight bars of A, which repeats, then eight bars of B, followed by one last eight of A. A, A, B, A, in a standard 32 bar refrain. And if you look inside those 32 bars, you'll see that all four of the elements we've been talking about, the tresijo, the umcha, ragtime, and the blues, are there. A world of music synthesized through the life and artistry of one man seated at his piano in a penthouse atop 33 Riverside Drive. Here's George with the whole thing. When Ira Gershwin first heard his brother's new tune, he thought, boy, am I going to have some fun rhyming this one. But after three weeks of trying fancy rhyme schemes, he came to the conclusion that for this tune, less is more. In fact, there are only two rhymes in the entire refrain, mind and find and more and door. A bold move on Ira's part, but he knew if his words were to speak, he had to let the music do the talking. And since the song is part of a nightclub scene in Girl Crazy, Ira didn't have to worry too much about storytelling. He could write pretty much whatever he wanted. And what he wanted was to write about the rhythm, the music, the joy that George had created. Who could ask for anything more? I recall the song when he finished his first draft, but then he scratched that out for a better idea. 
It wasn't about asking for more. It was about celebrating what you had. A sweet dream of a life from the streets of 2nd Avenue to a starlit penthouse in the sky, in tune, in step, in sync with the brilliant brother he adored. So at the top of the page, Ira wrote, I got rhythm. I Got Rhythm caused a sensation when Ethel Merman premiered it in Girl Crazy 1930. The song was so popular that even its harmonies were famous. Red Nichols was the first to record it. Glenn Miller, Louis Armstrong, and Benny Goodman quickly followed up. Then came movies and TV and radio and nightclubs and advertising and publishing and licensing and media rights to over 1,000 recordings and counting. An amazing legacy for an amazing song. Here is I Got Rhythm by George and Ira Gershwin. I got rhythm, I got music, I got my guy who could ask for anything more. I got Daisy in green pastures, I got my guy who could ask for anything more. Old man trouble, I don't mind him, you won't find him hanging around my front or back door. I got starlight, I got sweet dreams. I got my guy who could ask for anything more, who could ask for anything more. I'm telling you, I got rhythm, I got music, I got my man who could ask for anything more. I got daisies, they're in green pastures. I got my man who could ask for anything more. Old man trouble, I don't mind him. You won't find him around my door. I got music, I got my man who could ask for anything more. I got daisies in green pastures. I got my man who could ask for anything more. I know man trouble, I don't mind. You won't find him running, running, down my door. I got rhythm, I got to I got a minute. Why didn't I think of this before? You know what we're going to do? We're going to play one of Merman's records backstage while you stand in front of the curtain and mouth the words. <laughs> you think you can handle that, Agnes? I'll try. All right. Lucy. Heaven, please, please, some other time. <laughs> 